Hi everyone, my name is Fatima Zahra Benidi. I'm a PhD student at Qadir Iyad University in Morocco. And currently, I'm a Fulbright grantee here at Mines. My research project is about energy efficiency in buildings, especially the construction materials. Today, I'm going to talk about something that is going to be really interesting to give you a better perspective on what we do. The topic of my presentation is Thermal performance analysis of a building constructed with locally available materials in the hot semi arid climate of Marrakesh, Morocco. My presentation outline is as follows. First, I'm going to start with the uh, background and objectives, then the studied building description and followed methodology, and finally, results and conclusions. The consumption, of the consumption of electrical energy in Morocco has increased from 487 kilowatt hour per capita in 2000 to 911 kilowatt hour per capita in 2014. And the projection of the energy needs on the electrical energy consumption will grow by 5 to 6 percent there in the years 2020, which should be close to 1000 kilowatt hour per capita. The building sector is one of the most energy consuming in Morocco, as it consumes energy and affects the environment there in all its phases. I mean, design, consumption, uh, uh, and use. It represents 25% of the final energy consumption of the country. Nowadays, most buildings in Morocco are constructed with manufactured materials, like, for example, external walls normally are constructed of a succession of a succession of cement mortar, cement brick, and cement mortar. And for the roof, it is constructed using four layers, tiles, cement mortar, concrete slab, and plaster. And for the ground floor, it is constructed using tiles, cement mortar, concrete slab. Indeed, it should be mentioned that all these industrial materials have high embedded energy related to their manufacturing and transportation use, use it result in high carbon emissions and the higher purchase prices as well. Use it is important to develop and use new sustainable local materials that can reduce the operational energy and the embedded energy of the building as well. My research project obje uh, objective is to optimize the thermal behavior of an educational building using local and sustainable construction materials following those tasks. First, characterize thermal properties of local construction materials used in buildings. Second, develop and validate terraces building models using measurement data. And finally, evaluate the thermal behavior of this building once models are validated. For this purpose, a building called Bater, a building called Bater is constructed uh, mainly with local construction materials. The pictures represent the southeast orientation and the northwest orientation of the building. It is a single zone building with 60 square meter area. It is oriented southeast and has eight opening, one wooden door and seven single glass window, three on the southeast and four in the northwest facade of the building. The windows are protected by wooden shutter lovers. The roof extends by 30 centimeters to provide an overhang to the building. The electrical needs are produced by four photovoltaic panels installed on the roof top of the building. And the location of the building is at the University of Yad, Marrakesh, Morocco, North Africa. The present slide represents the building construction materials materials. The roof of the building is constructed with hollow core slab and insulated with red panels as shown in this figure, then one layer of plasterboard and a lime coating on the external facade of the building. For the walls, they are mainly constructed with almost 54 centimeters of stabilized ramid earth and one layer of plasterboard. The windows are simple glass window with wood panels, and for the door, it is constructed using wood. The ground floor is constructed using hollow core slab placed directly on the ground. As I mentioned earlier, the building location is in North Africa, Morocco, and Marrakesh. 
Marrakesh city is located in the western side of Morocco, far about 223 miles from the capital, Rabat. It is characterized by hot semi arid climate with very hot summers and relatively cold winters. It has large differences between day and night air temperatures that may reach 20 degrees C. From this figure, it is noticed that the coldest month of the year is January, where the external temperature reached 2.5 degrees C, while July observes the maximum temperature that exceeds 45 degrees. Per, uh, degree C with a very high level of solar radiation, up to 242 kilowatt hour per square meter. Durancy software was used to evaluate the thermal performance of the building, as it is as it is dedicated for thermal and electrical systems built on the Fortran compiler and can be used to carry out long-term and short-term simulation. It has 50 families of components as mono or multi-zone buildings, heat and cooling equipment, PV systems, etc. The methodology followed to validate the simulation model is, first, a laboratory and institute measurements. Since most of the materials are local used, it should be noted that the soil mixture varies by region and builder. Second, the building monitoring. An indoor measurement of the building are taken during winter and summer, se summer season using six data loggers uh, that measure air temperature and relative humidity as well. While for the outdoor condition, they, uh, they were recorded by a nearby meteorological weather station. The third step is dedicated for simulation model creation and their stances of tool. The figure represents the Terrences project file created based on different assumptions, like the building was considered unoccupied, door and windows were closed, and the ground coupling is taken into consideration. Different criteria is developed for the, term, for the model validation purpose. Among this criteria, ASHRAE guideline 14 suggests two indices. The first one, the normal means Bay error that evaluates the average difference between predictions and measurement. The second one is coefficient variation of root mean squared error that illustrates, that illustrates the model ability to represent reality. It also provides a limit for those two indices that should not be exceed 10% for the normal mean base error and 30% for the coefficient variation of root mean squared error. The present figure plots and compare measured and, and modeled indoor air temperature over a week in winter and a week in summer. Those periods represent the most critical weeks there in winter and summer in Marrakesh. All, uh, all, summer and all uh, winter and summer modeled value follow the same trend as the measured value. There in winter, the modeled indoor temperature vary between 10.6 and 13.3 degrees C, while the measured one uh, oscillates between 10.5 and 13.5 degrees C. Use the maximum deviation between the two is 0.6 degrees C. For the summer week, the simulated, the simulated temperature, the simulated temperature vary between uh, 24.7 degrees C and 28.5 degrees C, while the measured, the measured one vary between 24.2 degrees C and 28.1 degrees C. The use the maximum deviation between the two values is 0.8 degrees C. Additionally, the table gives the calculated normal means by error and the root mean square error for indoor air temperature. It is obvious that the resulted value 4% and 15% are inside the recommendation of the ASHRAE guideline. The use, it can be inferred from that that there is a good agreement between the measured and predicted outputs. The use, a conclusion can be drawn that the dissimulation model is well validated. To summarize, first, a methodology approach to develop a terrestrial model for a building built using locally available materials were presented. The model was validated using field tree and data from a building located in Marrakesh, Morocco. The model predicts the indoor air temperature within ASHRAE recommended guideline. 
And for the future work, we will be using the validated transit model to evaluate the thermal behavior of the building as well as to optimize its performance. And thank you for your attention.